animation and animation to picture the surface of a comet. Hollywood is good, but Rosetta is better. The lander completed its primary science mission. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Scientists expect to get a final glimpse of Flay later this month. Oh, that's weird. But when Rosetta snaps some pictures during close flybys before crash landing on the comet itself on September 30th, ending its 12-year space odyssey. Wait, so you're telling me that after a two-year journey that has helped shape our understanding of the solar system? Oh, wow, it's been promoted. In the last article, it had just helped shape our understanding of comets. And now they put that data into the supercomputers that are tied to like 50,000 iPhones, and they now shaped our understanding of the solar system. Nice. Short amount of time, too. I think that's pretty good. pretty good turnaround. And the reward for the Rosetta Stone is to be crashed into Comet 67B. Yeah, what happens if she crashes into Filet and they both like explode in this big thing of fire and the whole comet just... It would be like a Dave Matthews song, Come to Life. Crash into me, Filet. Oh, it already did. I like that little cartoon the ESA did of them. That was cute. That was a cartoon? Yeah. I well, thought things just looked different in space. <laughs> no, not that. The one we Is watched of uh, Filet and Rosetta. Remember, she's trying to contact him. She just gets all excited. Wow, now I gotta go back and look at that clip and see if there was any sexual tension before. Before he fell in a crack. And went down. Down a crack. Lost forever in a dark crack of science. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of this story, kids. Plan your battery power properly. Most deaf. Consult with the proper people. So wait, they're just going to crash it into the... Yeah, that's what they like to do. They like to go and crash stuff. They just crash it in. Just crash everything into something. Crash it in there. Just crash it on in. I guess they feel like they're home now. They had that lander on there for two years. Oh, it's theirs now. What if the primordial goo on 67P Trudor Shminskov and the filet E in the satellite turn into like some super primordial artificial intelligence symbiotic thing that comes back mad at Earth because we had an unworking baby lander that... And then we just left it there. It like crashed its mom. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's sad, really. Rosetta, which cost more than 350 million lira to build and launch, has been orbiting common 67P, Cherry, U, Mov, Dash, Jera, Sim, and Co. A massive ball of ice dust and organic materials. But there's some special organics in those materials. Precious materials. Precious organics. Bring me the precious organics from Rosetta. Then bring me the precious materials from Bennu. And then I will finally be in my final form and ready to conquer the world. Yeah, it's great, Goo Gary. The next phase of this guy net Terminator grumpy cat thing or whatever. Did you know sometimes comets can be a major letdown? Totally. Or pick me up. It depends on how you look at it. Yeah, that's true. I learned a lot that year, you know? Yeah, like, if you're going to go to the circus, buy some peanuts, buy some cotton candy. Definitely. Have a couple beers. For sure. And man, life is short and we all work too damn hard and there's way too much stress on the world, so... Enjoy the circus. Always. Because if you get mad at the circus, something's wrong with you. You need to reevaluate. Like, Well, sometimes, like, you know, I have a thing where it gets too loud. I get a little irritated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, like I oh. get a little irritated at the circus because it's too loud. So I need to go and uh, have a cigarette and then come back in and then I'm, then I'm enjoying the circus again. Anyway, this show has been wonderful and the sage has been wonderful. And Thor has been wonderful. And this saga of a comet, a satellite, a lunar, a comet module, a dark crack... In a space duck hammer ray gun thingy. That was, um, I'll never forget that. You came out with the Venus is a space duck, and like this thing came out just a little bit later. And this was no this was no doom of duck. This this was definitely a science circus spectacle extravaganza showing us the very finest that our scientists and space agencies were allowed to do. Yeah, well first, you know, we got a good look during ice and and then we got a good look during the sixty seven P and then, you know, it's always great to watch people struggle blowing up inflatable rooms and um, inflatable rooms. Yeah, I remember when NASA was like, "Day two, they're still trying to get that inflatable room inflated." What <laughs> on the on the space station? Like, oh, remember? Yeah, kind of. It's the oh, International Space Station. I kind of tune out as soon as somebody mentions it. it's like ISS, and I'm like, tune out. Yeah, but that I think the blow up part NASA was adding on the. The blow-up module, and it was like they screwed up and they had to do it again. And... You know, that's pretty thoughtful of NASA to add a bouncy house to the International Space yeah, Station. I so too. I wonder uh, if they're going to start serving jello shots up there. That'd be great. I'm just kidding. I uh, definitely... Okay, yeah, so... Anyway, great job, everybody. We all get a gold medal participant ribbon on this one. And um, so hopefully there will be cookies, cake, and some of that punch you're talking about. Punch shots. Wait, no, no, no. Jello shots. Jello shots. Europeans pay much less than Americans do for their space science. What do you think about that, Zarnecki? Comet 67P is amazingly light as a result of all these cavities, said Open University goalie Natalie Starkey. I'm sorry, geologist. It's like a big lump of pumice that measures three kilometers by five kilometers. 
if you dropped it in the sea, it would float. <laughs> so, wait, it's like, first they're like dirty duck snowball ice cream cones. That you can drop in water and it float. And now they're just big lumps. They're just a big lump of floating rock. But a key rose at a mission target was to search for evidence that the Earth's oceans might be made of water brought to our planet by comets. Man, that was going to be one heck of another party the day we figure out, where did all this water come from, y'all? I need to know, and I need to know right now. Three months later, the probe was launched from Kourou in French Guiouani in March 2004 on a trajectory that involved three flybys of Earth and one of Mars en route to Comet 67P. The probe reached its target in August 2014, revealing the comet, which circles the sun every 6.5 years, as a strange twin-lobed object covered with craters, hills, and cliffs. And then, three months later, Rosetta dropped it like it was hot, a tiny lander craft called Flay onto the comet's surface which was found to be made of hard ice covered by a thick layer of dust in which organic chemicals could be detected. And did they detect some chemicals? You bet your sweet bibby. They did. They detected organic chemicals. Flay also provided crucial data about the comet's structure, which was shown to be highly porous, which means it holds water well? No. No. It leaks water well. Of course, yeah. It's like, a, it's like the Puma Stone. Oh, yeah. It afloat, which is really weird because it's, it's super hard, right? They couldn't drill into it. So it's porous, but it's super hard. Like a skeleton. Like our bones. Some people do speculate that in the great world of gods, many of them were ejected into space. And that so the, some of the comets are just god bones. Little G8 gods, I guess, if you get into the demigod. I don't know. People are weird with words, especially ones that have god or godlike. Okay, what's I saying? <laughs> Rosetta has returned reams of data from the dark crack. And they are only beginning to analyze it, said Mark Makarian, a senior science advisor at ESA. It is transforming our understanding of the way the solar system was put together. Whoa. Put together implies... Divine architecture. Yeah, I think something is definitely, definitely put together weird about our solar system. If you look at the any of the orreries, our solar system looks funny compared to the rest of them. It's all bloated and it's set up different. It's not bloated. Would you call a 747 bloated? Well, it's much larger, like the bubbles bear. Uh, it's, it's inflated. Our, our solar system is very Texas. I'll agree with you. It's inflated, like the dollar. ESA. And NASA, I know you guys have a real cozy relationship with Legos. That's cool. Their video game is pretty neat looking. So how about this? Our solar system is like a Lego set put together by a divine master builder. That way we can combine science, engineering, and the invisible force of love and music that flows throughout the universe. All right, cool. Peace out. God bless you, everybody. Good show. Good show. Let's go get a bucket of chicken. Right on. Crash into me, Rosetta. Rest your weary wing. Before the landing, we had a combination of imagination and animation to picture the surface of a comet. Hollywood is good, but Rosetta is better. The lander completed its primary science mission. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Scientists expect to get a final glimpse of Flay later this month. Oh, that's weird. But when Rosetta snapped some pictures during close flybys, before crash landing on the comet itself on September 30th, ending its 12-year space odyssey. Wait, so you're telling me that after a two-year journey that has helped shape our understanding of the solar system? Oh, wow, it's been promoted. In the last article, it had just helped shape our understanding comets. And now they put that data into the supercomputers that are tied to like 50,000 iPhones, and they now have shaped our understanding of the solar system. Nice. Short amount of time, too. I think that's pretty good. pretty good turnaround. And the reward for the Rosetta Stone is to be crashed into Comet 67B. What happens if she crashes into Filet and they both like explode and this big thing of fire and the whole comet just... It would be like a Dave Matthews song, Come to Life. Crash into me, Filet. Oh, it already did. I like that little cartoon the ESA did of them. That was cute. That was a cartoon. 